held up more than an architecture technology decision like that. Um, so at the moment, uh, the block size is limited to one megabyte blocks. Um, in fact, most blocks that are mined are mined at the default level of 750 kilobytes. Uh, and many blocks are mined even smaller. Why is that? Uh, the economic incentives are such that if you create a new block of transactions, if it's a big block, it takes a while to transmit. And in the time that you're transmitting it, someone with a shorter, faster block can scoop you for the reward. So imagine that you've just done 10 minutes of intense computation, you finally calculated a block, now you're in a race to propagate that block across the global network before any other valid blocks are propagated. So what's the rational economic thing to do? Propagate small blocks, because you can propagate them fast. So when there's a potential conflict, um, you're likely to get your block out first. So that creates some natural incentive towards smaller blocks. Um, at the same time, if you don't include a lot of transactions, that's going to drive the per transaction cost up, and it's going to slow down the network. Right now, the network can support anywhere from three transactions per second to maybe at most uh, seven transactions per second. So does this need to be fixed? Yes. Um, and can it be scaled? I believe so, yes. I think it can be scaled uh, several orders of magnitude bigger than it is today. There's a proposal currently outstanding by Gavin Andreessen, who's the chief scientist and one of the more prolific core developers, uh, to increase the block, uh, the block size dramatically, 16 megabytes from the get-go, and then uh, have a built-in uh, block size inflation parameter so that it gets bigger over time, uh, very closely emulating Moore's law. So if you're in, and if you didn't understand any of that, <laughs> the good news is you don't need to in order to use Bitcoin. Um, so this is a rather esoteric engineering discussion, but there's a lot of passion behind it. Some people think that if you remove the limit, the artificial limit that has been imposed on block size, that this will um, devalue the network that part of the value of the network comes from scarcity in the block size. Uh, I think that is wrong. So I think that is wrong for a number of reasons. The first one is that production quotas don't create value. And a block size limit is a production quota. And there's a lot of economic theory behind production quotas that show that just because you make something harder to produce and more scarce doesn't mean it becomes more valuable than its consumption. Right? What that does is it actually um, creates problems in the uh, competition in that market. So I don't think small block size is, is a good idea, uh, and I do think it's a problem that can be solved in Bitcoin. For a longer discussion, we'll take it offline.